Hi, this is Brian Bowers from Guerrilla Film School. When you're a new filmmaker starting out and you don't have any connections in the industry, how do you find a film crew to work with? In this video, I'm going to give you four easy ways to find a crew you can join or find people for a crew of your own, even if you have no connections in the industry right now. Here's Johnny! Yes. But what I do have are very particular film skills. Go ahead, make my day. Yeah, keep the change, you filthy animal. I love the smell of night pump in the morning. What? Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? Like that, he's gone. This question comes from Snow112 on Reddit who asks, How do I find a crew or group working on short films that I could possibly be a part of? I'm not a film student and have literally no contacts in the industry or friends who are looking to go into filmmaking. I'd like to gain some experience specifically in directing and would also like a cost-effective way to learn to use film cameras and other practical skills. Any help or guidance would be greatly appreciated. This is a great question that I hear from a lot of newer filmmakers. It can seem really daunting to meet people to work with in the film industry, especially if you really don't know anyone. Even though it might seem a little scary, the good news is that there's a ton of people out there that want you to work with them or that want to be a part of your crew if you know how to find them. So here are four easy ways you can do that. First, the easiest and I think best way to find crew is to get involved with the 48-hour film project. If you're not already familiar, the 48-hour film project is the world's largest and oldest timed film competition. It's in over 100 cities around the world. Teams of filmmakers have just 48 hours to write, produce, and edit their short films using a genre, character, prop, and line of dialogue that aren't revealed until the filmmaking weekend kicks off. Now, you should know that I've been involved with the 48-hour film project for over 10 years as of right now, but I still think this is the absolute best way for filmmakers to get involved in their local film industry, meet other people, and actually make a film. Most of the local competitions host a series of meetups before the actual filmmaking weekend where anyone can show up and meet other people that want to work on films. There'll be filmmakers there looking to add crew for their own team, and there also will be people there that might want to work on your crew. Working on a film through the 48-hour film project gives you another awesome bonus that you won't find just about anywhere else. All of the finished films get a theatrical screening. This is huge. So not only do you get to meet people and actually make a film, you'll be able to watch it up on the big screen with your friends and family at your local movie theater. To get involved with the 48-hour film project, go to 48hourfilm.com slash locations and find the city closest to you. Sign up for the city's email list so you can get updates on upcoming events. Most of the local competitions have their own Facebook page. They're all not in every city, but they're in most of the major cities around the world, so definitely check out the 48-hour film project first. So the second way to meet up with a crew is to get involved with someone else's film. And what's the best way to do that? you can start by checking out the nearest film commission. The film commission is usually a local or regional office that helps filmmakers with the resources, permits, and crew they need to make their film. Just do a quick Google search and find the film commission that's closest to your city. Almost all of the commissions now post cast and crew calls online, so that's what you want to check out. You'll probably see some listings for paid crew members, but don't even worry about those for now. There's a lot more calls for volunteer crew for smaller independent films or student filmmakers. You might not get paid, but a lot of times these end up being way better for people starting out. You'll not only get to meet other crew members, you'll probably get to be more involved and get more hands-on experience than you would just starting out working on a big Hollywood film studio set. Besides the Film Commission, you can also look for film groups and clubs on Facebook. In Facebook's search bar, just enter your city name and then the word film, and then search. In the search results, it's best to go straight for the Facebook groups, since those usually allow anyone that's a part of the group to post to the group. You might have to join the groups first, but once your membership is approved, you'll almost always see a ton of cast and crew calls posted in this group. So this is a good way to find a crew to get on or find people for your own crew. The third way to find a crew to work with is super easy. Contact local film departments at schools. Film students almost always have projects that they're working on and need crew for. 
this is a super low pressure way to see how things work because everyone is a volunteer. And a lot of times, almost everyone is new or doesn't have a ton of experience. So you can meet people that want to work on films, but you don't have to worry about feeling stupid because you don't want, know what you're doing since most of these people don't know what they're doing. Local colleges are the best way to go, but definitely don't rule out high schools. There's many high schools now that have film programs, and I've seen a lot of super talented young filmmakers, so it's definitely worth checking out. Finally, the fourth way to find a crew is to enlist your friends and family. I mean, come on, how many times have you been roped into helping someone move or run errands or some other chore one of your friends begged you to help out with? At least making films is cool, so they're probably going to end up having fun helping you out anyway. And by the way, this happens all the time, even in the professional world. Robert Rodriguez famously used mostly friends and family for his feature film El Mariachi, which was made for about seven grand and ended up making over $2 million at the box office, plus it launched Rodriguez's career. So there you go, four different ways to find a film crew when you're first starting out. It sucks being the new kid, but it's actually not as hard as you think to find people that want to work on films. Do you have a question of your own about filmmaking, acting, or the entertainment industry that you'd like answered? Email your questions to brian at gorillafilmschool.com and we'll answer our favorites on video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe to make sure you always get the newest videos from Gorilla Film School. He's gone.